for it. It's an excellent training opportunity. I like doing it, to be honest. I like telling people about my work. I really, really enjoy talking to um, all of the students that I've managed to talk to. Go ahead and do it, because I already tell my friends that they have to do it. A um, splendid event for the university. The Festival of Postgraduate Research is about providing an opportunity for researchers at the university to talk to the wider world. We were interested in getting PhD students to be better at engaging with the general public, with the media and the wider audiences outside of universities. Too often PhD students are seen as just being very good technically at whatever they're doing in their PhD and we wanted to show that actually they had a lot more to offer. The process starts in January when students first sign up to take part in the festival. It made me more enthusiastic about presenting my work and about attending meetings and you know the social aspects of the, these kind of events definitely. So it, it kind of gave me uh, enthusiasm to, to do more of it. Because of the confidence I got from presenting my poster at the university, I was more confident to present a poster at um, the local criminal justice board conference which was open uh, to practitioners in the field. For me it was personally it was the fact that I was going to be presenting my work to the uh, general public. I found that quite exciting having to kind of bring it back down and, and make your work simple. People started learning about my research and I started learning how to sort of publicize my research more out to get in touch with um, the outside world, sort of network with my research work. It was fairly hectic but it was great fun. It was, uh, there was always somebody at your poster and obviously there was the judges as well which we, we didn't really know who they were so that made it a little bit more exciting in a way because you had to make sure you did a good job with every person and it was, it was good, it was very rewarding, very rewarding. It's a very informal environment and it's a great place to start so yes I would recommend it to anybody first year, second year, third year, anyone. Well I mean I did, I did recommend actually to two of my uh, the PhD students who work with me and they're attending. I said it was a great, great experience, especially the training. You know, it's not, you don't just turn up and do it. It's a real kind of package, which I think is excellent, really useful. So I would definitely recommend it, definitely. The basis of the presentation is the design of a poster to illustrate and explain their research. So, to ensure that all entrants to the festival have experience of design, the scheme runs two workshops in May. From the last workshop until the festival itself is a little over a month. It's a question now of coming up with a design, fine-tuning the presentation and getting ready for the big day itself. So all that remains for me is to say um, I wish everyone well in terms of the competition today. Students present their work during the morning. In total, there are 50 stands and between the hours of 10 and 1 p.m., over 300 people will pass through the doors, which makes for a very lively atmosphere. Well, the geology department is quite keen on uh, its students to participate, and uh, we, we, well, we, the, our department encourages us to, to get out there and communicate our science, and uh, I, I, I like doing it, to be honest. I like telling people about my work. I've been really happy to work there and seen some fantastic things, and it's nice to to share it with people and enthuse about your science and, uh, and convince people that geology is the way forward and the Solomon Islands is worth a visit. So, yeah. We had some training days before the event and they were very useful. They were talking about um, how you might communicate with the media or how you might present to the public and present it in a way that, um, that people find interesting. And it may, because I can, you can get very interested in your research and I'm very interested in medieval history and you can get all enclosed up in that way of thinking. But, a lot of people aren't interested in medieval history and it's just trying to uh, understand how you can find what other people are interested in and say, well, actually, that's quite a lot like what I'm doing. It's just the opportunity, really, to practice explaining my research to other people and also see what other people are doing as well. It's a good excuse to have a look around and also meet people who are interested in the sort of things we do at the university. 
I've been to quite a few conferences and obviously presenting to a quite specific audience. I've never actually had the chance to actually um, just uh, uh, present my data to the general public. So I think that's the main factor uh, I chose to come into this, this event. Oh, I think the quality of the postgraduate research that's being done at Leicester University is world class. And an opportunity of this sort to, to showcase that and to show it to people locally and nationally is, is vitally important to the university and to the city. I think the, the range of uh, subject matter that we've seen is, is very impressive. Um, everything from very sophisticated science through arts and social studies. Um, but I think what strikes me most is the, the enthusiasm of the students, their, their willingness and keenness to communicate to uh, anybody who's interested um, the details of what they're doing. What's impressed me about the event, particularly today, this is the third one, is there's a real buzz about the place. There's tremendous enthusiasm. I think the quality of the talks, all the students that I've spoken to, has been superb. They've, they've done a really good job as ambassadors. And this sort of event is so important. It's so easy for students to beaver away in their laboratories or their offices or wherever, focused on their own research topics, and not really think about the global picture of why am I doing this, why is this important, and, and what, what does the world need to know about what I'm doing. And this is a fantastic opportunity for them to start to do that and to address those sort of issues. It's very important for the postgraduate students to, to realise that although they're working within an academic environment a lot of the time, many of the people they'll be dealing with in everyday life will not have that background and it's great to see so many of them rising to that challenge, getting across their complicated but exciting ideas. I've been really impressed today by the standard of participants in the festival and actually looking at the range of activity that's going on in the university it's been a great way to showcase what we actually have going on especially with PhD and there's been MPhil students here as well and looking at um, exactly what they're doing and I've been really impressed with the level of um, presentation that they've been able to give and the actual some some of the posters have been really really good really well made shown really good computer graphics um, and the overall event's been well organized. The highlight of the festival is the award presentation, the culmination of several months of hard work by the participants and the organizers. I'm really proud to have won this award. Um, the, um, the other posters on display today are absolutely fantastic and I feel really, really proud and privileged to have been chosen as the best. I'd really recommend the Festival of Postgraduate Research to other students. It's been a, a fantastic experience and, and it's a great way of, of communicating your research to the general public and, and learning how to do that in the best way possible. Mm -hmm.